Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Easy Weeknight Cooking with Heart's Desire Spice Blends. And tonight we're doing a really great recipe that one of our customers actually sent to us on Greek new potatoes. Now, this original recipe was a generic potato seasoning, but tonight we got a little further. So what we're going to do is we're going to use about a pound of new potatoes. Uh, we're going to be using uh, Yukon Golds tonight. We find that the Yukon Golds, the red potatoes, the purple potatoes do very, very well for this kind of thing because they're slightly more waxy potatoes. They don't fall apart very easily, or at least not as easily as your traditional recipe. So we're going to be using these tonight, about a pound of these. We're going to use one tablespoon of Greek seasoning. I, I'm sorry half a tablespoon, a teaspoon and a half of Greek seasoning, teaspoon and a half of paprika, gorgeous stuff. Now you really want the sweet stuff for this, for the flavors. Well, some people might try the smoked and I wanna see how that goes. I've not played with it yet, but the sweet paprika is really wonderful. I'm going to need uh, two tablespoons of olive oil, one eighth of a teaspoon of fresh cracked pepper or ground pepper, and an optional, Eighth of a teaspoon of kosher salt. Now, I, that is totally optional. And honestly, much more than that for this is going to be way too much, at least for my taste. So you really don't need much to have a really fantastic flavor. And this recipe is family approved around this house. Seriously. So why don't we get started? First of all, we need to set our oven to 350. I generally put it at 370 and let it preheat and then smack it down to 350 and it's gorgeous. And these are going to be in there for about 45 to 55 minutes. So um, let's start with our potatoes. I've got most of them already cut up. So we're going to go ahead and just cut up these last four. Now, they normally come in a two pound bag and that's just fine. Go ahead and double this recipe if you want to use that whole two pound bag. Uh, the recipe doubles, triples, quadruples very easily. So if you're doing this for a crowd, that is awesome. Now, go ahead and I like to quarter these. That way they cook very quickly. Um, they tend to cook pretty evenly and they're not huge. That is maybe two bites. And so, you know, just really easy to deal with. So go ahead and quarter these puppies. Uh, again, a uh, new potato. They're not terribly huge. If you get them much bigger than this, then you may want to cut them down even further. Or if you say, okay, I don't want to deal with the new potatoes. I've already got potatoes at home, Natalie. And uh, they're bigger than this. Well, then go ahead and cut these down to about one inch one inch chunks, and uh, that ought to do really well, even in uh, slices, though, uh, yeah, wedges or slices would be great. You may have to cook wedges uh, that are bigger than this for a little longer to get them all done, but they puff on the outside and just become very yummy. So go ahead and just throw those into your medium bowl. And that's it for your Yukon Golds or red potatoes. And there you go, there's one pound. And now we need to move on to our spice mix. We can go ahead and put that aside. Get yourself some sort of a bowl for our spices and we are on our way. So teaspoon and a half of paprika. Yummy, yummy stuff. There we go. Oh, get all of it in there. <laughs> so, teaspoon and a Greek seasoning. Do not skimp on this, guys. This is flavorville. Definitely flavorville. Uh, next is an eighth of a teaspoon of fresh pepper. And I'm just going to go ahead and pack some right into my palm. You don't need much. As you can see, right there. And that'll be, let me see if this an eighth or a quarter. That's a quarter. And that's about an eighth. Okay, we're good. And I'm going to grab 
half of my quarter teaspoon full of kosher salt. There we go. Add on into the bowl. And that starts looking just so cool. And you just go ahead and mix that up. And you get all sorts of all sorts of great colors when you start doing this. Oh, I love mixing spices. I should help. I love mixing spices. It's what I do for a living, right? <laughs> but I love the flavors and the combinations of colors, and it's so gorgeous. So there we go. That's what it looks like when it is all mixed up. Like I said, you know, two minutes, you're done. And next. About two tablespoons of olive oil right on your potatoes, and then you throw in your spices and toss it and throw it on a foil lined baking sheet. And in just a minute, I'm going to show you what this looks like. Go ahead and toss that one tablespoon over. So it's about a tablespoon every uh, half pound. So you can go ahead and do this in a half pound increments. You can do this in a whole pound increments. Sweetness. Now, let's go ahead and do the sprinkle, sprinkle here. Ooh, yummy. Look at that. It looks so pretty with the spices all over it. And now we're going to talk. We just want these well coated on all sides. So if you get some of these that are sticking together, then go ahead and break them up and just keep tossing until they are all evenly coated. We don't want bare spots. We don't want you know lumps and bare spots and spots that don't have anything at all. Um, just go ahead and keep on tossing. And there you have it. Sweet. Does that look good or what? Seriously, wow. Now, guess what? We are now ready to put this on a line baking sheet. And guess, guess what? We've got some more of this right in, here in the oven. So let's take a look. Mm. Oh, wow. We're puffy. Oh, wow. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Is that yummy or what? And uh, they kind of puffed up, which is really great. Now, I, obviously they need to cool just a little bit before I taste one, but, oh my gosh, my mouth is watering. <laughs> it smells so awesome. Mm. Let me see, oh, right there. Almost got a crust on it. Look at that. It's almost got a crust on it. This is beautiful, just plain beautiful. So that definitely does not take a long time. This has been in the oven for about 50 minutes, this one tray. And, uh, oh, yummy, yummy. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is really fantastic. Now, I've tried this for your keto folks. This does well on radishes as well. You don't get the texture, but the flavor is all there. Matter of fact, even more so on radishes. And why is that? Because potatoes tend to suck up a bit of flavor. Potatoes, beans, rice, pasta, that kind of thing will always um, absorb a lot of flavor. So you kind of want to over flavor potatoes. Now, if you're doing this with radishes, it can be done. And you're going to want to, um, to put your radishes on a paper towel and salt them before you try this, but you can cut down on the spices with them. And boy, do they come out with a bang. Wow, it's awesome. So from our kitchen to yours, that is a super, super easy new potato recipe that can absolutely feed a crowd. And it's all about the Greek this month, right? Why? Because it's on sale and we want you to keep things tasty. So from our kitchen to yours, that's great to new potatoes, and you do keep things tasty. We'll see you next week.